said he was looking forward in particular to going up against Helms. We'll get into that story as we go along. We are underway from the Pete with NC State on the road. And the Panthers open in the man-to-man -man defense and they have to be solid on the defensive end. More than that, they have to be physical on the defensive end if they're gonna be successful. That was just inside the three-point arc. Mike, that's the matchup we were talking about. Score right now and Justin Champetti. The starter and the leading scorer for a pit team that will have Xavier Johnson and Ithiel Horton coming off the bench today. Now, Champagne, that's very interesting. He's only two for his last 11 shooting threes, so. Abdul, Kareem, Koulibaly handled the pass from Nike Sabandi, and Koulibaly gets the roll. And he's coming off the bench after getting nicked up with a hip slash back issue on Saturday against Duke. Thunderbird going to work with two more. Those turnovers have been such a huge factor for North Carolina State. Yeah, 39 of them combined the last two games. There's the second for NC State, and it leads to an odd East Tony run out, and Pitt's back in front by one. That's seven turnovers, including six in the first half for Jeff Capel. And hey, it worked pretty well when they brought him off the bench the last time they did it, two weeks ago against Virginia Tech when he had a career-high 32. North Carolina State him. does an awful lot of switching in their man-to-man -man defense. Cam Hayes got the steal that time, and he lays it in, and State leads by three. Something that both head coaches were playfully joking about as well yesterday was, how long is that going to stay? They admired the fact that Leonard Hamilton was able to keep it on his shoulder so long on Monday. Braxton Beverly with the shot clock winding down, had to throw it huh, up, huh, and he got huh, it to go. Huh, huh, huh. Put that one in the playbook. Champagne, shot clock winding down. How about this for Beverly? Well, Beverly, I mean, he didn't even have the ball in his hand. They got Hayes to miss a three. There's Xavier Johnson on the scoop to the hoop. Ithiel Horton was terrific in that ball game in the second half in particular, but misses that time. Beverly, quick release, spins it out, and Funderburk follows. Postponements, that still is a big story. And Mike, that's getting to be an even bigger story. We're getting down to the end. These, it's going to be hard to make these things up. It was supposed to play today at Louisville on these airwaves after this game. You're missing out on some quad one opportunities out there. Femi Odukali on the drive with a chance at three, drawing the foul on Manny Bates. On the offensive glass, it's Funderburk again. So he's got eight points and four rebounds early on in these first 10 minutes. And you can't, you just can't push that guy out of the way. This isn't the 70s anymore. Not the Dan Bonner era. Beverly on the street to the cup for two, and NC State's up by nine. Keats in the Wolfpack, Funderburk missed those two free throws, and that's an unusual situation. He's an outstanding free throw shooter. Adis Tony on the follow off the Savandi miss. Oh, and the scoring is, is just a byproduct of all the other things in the game of the junior from Huntsville, Alabama. Helms hits one over Tony, and Helms with an early nine to pace the pack. Beverly is fronting Champagne. Johnson couldn't get it to him. Savandi rises again, and this time he knocks it down. A welcome sight for the Panthers. And that's fine, but you got to focus on the, the, your team and not just playing one guy. Well, how about the start for Cam Hayes in this one? He buries a three, has seven points. And that is great news for North Carolina State. Cam Hayes had a couple of really good games early. Then he went out with COVID and hadn't had double figures since he got back, but he's well on his way to a game like that today. Season low six rebounds in the loss to Georgia Tech on Sunday. And Jeff Capel was chatting with us yesterday and he said, everything's different in the world of Justin Champagne the last month or so. No, you're right. If Justin Champagne ever had the element of surprise, he's lost it. Yes. But, uh... Johnson hits the three and then looks in front of the NC State bench and Jamie and Lucky tees him up. Tony lost the handle and that's the seventh pit turnover. Hayes back the other way, got blocked by Odu Cali. Oh, 
Horton off the bounce, off the shot, fake for two. Pretty stationary there, the first 20 seconds or so of this possession. Oh, nice navigation by Moore to dump it off to Thunderbird. And Dan, how about the play of both Moore and Hayes? Remember, no Thomas Allen due to an ankle injury as Tony hits a three. Well, when Florida State gets rolling, they are as impressive and a very impressive team. There's Sebron on the streak to the basket to put NC State back up by four. Hayes, that's a deep one. Off the mark, Thunderbird active on the offensive glass again, and he's got 13 in the first half for State. Four offensive rebounds, and he's converted every one of them. Tony got it off and buries it. Yeah, how'd you think that served them as they went to it so much down the stretch of the first half? Ellums gets the roll. Go to Cali and Sabandi beginning the second half for Pitt like they did the ball game with Xavier Johnson and Horton coming off the bench and there's Champagny with the second chance points. Underberg, Helms, 5-4 and 3-4. That one squirts to Bates underneath and Manny Bates on his first shot attempt has his first points. Tony was terrific, like you said, Dan, as that first half went along, but he missed that one. And here's Darion Sabra on the length of the court. Beverly is in for Thunderbird. Tony's got the size advantage. And the follow for Koulibaly. And that's exactly what Jeff Capel said to us yesterday, that one of the ways they want to use Manny Bates' shot blocking against him is maybe it opens up some offensive rebounds as Beverly scores. Kevin Keats said it might be the sort of thing where you got to choose between practice and games for Braxton Beverly, who couldn't hang with Adi Tony there. That's the way it goes. It was at the end of the first half against Duke on Saturday when he got tangled up with Jordan Goldwire and went down and irritated the backslash hip. So he's got to make of, some adjustments. Yeah, a lot of double teams, a lot of increased physicality. Nice passing again from Manny Bates, this time to Helms. Just have the technicals. And remember, Oda Kelly went off to the locker room as Johnson scores to get it back down to six. That was a lot to sort out as Terrell Brown blocks the shot of DJ Funderburg. And they were supposed to play today at home against Syracuse. So now the two times those teams have been scheduled to square up, Syracuse went to Louisville this time for that game not to be played. Brown off a nice feed. Carolina State has made seven of their 10 shot attempts in this half, and that's because they've been getting easy opportunities. Hayes turned it over, and Brown running the floor, got it from Tony. Shot clock winding down on Shaq Moore with a nice dump off for Sebra. Sebra, you need to drive him to the basket. Difficult shot there for Sebron. Pitt is running again, and Horton's laying it in. Moore skips it for his classmate Hayes, and now Beverly from long range. Bates denied that lob attempt from Odukali. Late shot clock here for Pitt with Champagny navigating and Terrell Brown following. And even against the zone, I know you've liked some of the dribble penetration that Pitts had. What a pass by Beverly. Extra pass and the stuff by Bates. Whoa. Beverly teed it up for Funderburk. There's been great post passing and Bates paid it off for NC State. There's 10 seconds left and the ball hasn't penetrated the three point line. Horton. Hits the okay. three in the final seconds. Helms is back into the game for NC State with four minutes to go here in regulation. Champagny is so comfortable adjusting to that left hand when he's in close. He might have been better just getting that one up on the board and allowing his teammates to run at the basket for the offensive rebound. 
Now it's Bates over the top of Brown, and NC State's back in front. Shaq Moore. Here comes Horton and the Panthers. Just oh, oh, behind the back for the lead. North Carolina State very effective on the inside. Puts the ball behind his back to keep it away from Beverly, but then North Carolina State, sort of a fancy play. He actually had to do that to protect the ball. And then at the other end, it's Thunderbird with a chance at three. Horton. No. The tip not there for Brown, and Thunderbird with a big rebound. North Carolina State has done a nice job getting the ball inside. From the outside, Hayes, no. Rebound, Tony. And the man. 26 mark of this second half. Pitt goes right to Champagny, matched up with Funderburk, and Champagny lost the handle. Good defense by Funderburk with four personal fouls. The freshman from Greensboro makes both to make it a three-point lead for NC State. You go over and you attack him. You don't let him get the ball up to the basket. Champagne gets the roll to cut it to one. Hayes is 65% free throw shooter. And he walks with it. This time it is Audis Tony on the drive. Hit the bottom of the backboard. Champagne throws it up. Cannot connect. Bates is stripped. And Brown did not get it off. And NC State wins it on the road.